Let's take a little time and get to know the spooling system. Located in the upper right hand corner of the dashboard is a printer icon. Let's select that icon to launch our spooler interface. We call this spool face. Now the spooler is broken up into three sections. First we have the active job section in the upper left hand corner. Below that we have the save job section and to the right we have the log. Now in our active job section, right now I have four jobs. If I want to reorder those jobs, I can simply select the job and move it to the area I want to order it to. Now if I want to prevent a job from printing or remove a job from the active queue, I select it and I drop it down into the save job section. That'll either stop a current job that is printing or move a job that's waiting to be printed over to the save job category. Now if we have multiple printers, we can choose a printer that we're looking at the queue with. And so we would toggle between them right here like I'm doing now. Other things with the queue is the ability to pause printing um, and then reactivate the printing. And we do that here with the pause print queue. The other thing we want to look at is demo behavior. Now if for some reason the dongle is not connected to the system or it is, but for some reason it's not being seen, we can prevent demo printing. So what we'd want to do there is say, do not print if in demo mode. And that would prevent expensive paper or any paper for that matter being printed on if the dongle is not recognized for an active job to be printed. Now some of the other things that the spooling system does is the ability to archive jobs. And we do this by selecting a job doing a control click and that brings up our archive and restore menu. So the spool interface allows us to do all kinds of things with our jobs. Now there's some important things too about the save jobs that we want to recognize. Um, oftentimes we may ask you to send us job information and the way you do that is to double click on a save job and that brings up the job file. Now the job file stores all the specific information about that job and we can get diagnostics information from this. So often, if you're having a problem, we'll want to see this data to see why that job's not running right. And that's a quick look at understanding the spool interface.